for significant. Hello there. My name is Giselle Galley. My whole life, I have always been made cognizant that safety must come first at home, at school, and in the community. Thanks to God, I have been enjoying a full life in all that I do. We are always being told to be safe. Today, I want to share how I keep safe, how you can keep safe, and why safety is super important to all of us. As always, I ask, please smash that like button and subscribe for motivational content every Friday. The online dictionary defines safety. And I quote, the condition of being protected from or unlikely to cause danger, risk, or injury. End quote. As school is about to start in a few short weeks, I want to share in my experience when I was a student. When I was an inclusive student, a safety plan in case of a school emergency in all my classes had to always be in place. Fortunately, I only experienced fire and lockdown drills and never the real thing. My safety and the safety of all students was always the number one priority for my teachers the administration and the school. As a student with special needs, I was blessed to have an educational resource worker to assist me in all of my classes. In high school, Miss Alvarez, my educational resource worker was a much needed accommodation in my learning. But she also kept me very safe too. To this day, I am so very grateful to her for all her professional support while I was a student at Loyola Catholic Secondary <coughs> School in Mississauga. At school I did so much. I was an active student. And my educational resource worker always kept me super safe. Growing up I have always wanted to participate in life. Like my able-bodied peers can do naturally. To this end I have always required support because I have many physical challenges. Special needs equipment is simply a part of my everyday life that allows me to enjoy life in a safe inclusive environment. What I have learned is I can do anything, or most things, as long as the necessary safety precautions are taken. In my career as a public speaker, I have had to make adjustments too. As a result of the pandemic, I now offer virtual public speaking. I really love going out and meeting new people as a public speaker. However, at this time, I realize we all need to do our part to try and keep each other safe, particularly those most vulnerable in our society. It is important to realize that no person is an island. Moreover, our actions today because of the coronavirus 19 can affect the lives of others in adversely dramatic and detrimental ways. At home we can stay safe from the coronavirus 19. However, when we are not at home with our caregivers or family, 
We must diligently exercise safety at all times when outside of our homes. In these past several months of the pandemic, my family and I have been staying safe by wearing a mask when we step out of the house into the community. Washing our hands often with soap and water. Not touching our faces, especially our eyes, nose and mouth. Being six feet or two meters apart from other people. Other than those with whom we are already close to. Like our immediate family or caregivers. Not touching anything while out in any public place. And cleaning everything before we bring it into our home. These are the safety measures my family has taken to be safe from this ruthless COVID-19. Safety has to be the most important precaution we can all individually take because it means we care about our safety and the safety of other people. We all have to do our part to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus. We all need to pitch in and share in the responsibility to keep each other safe. When we all do our part to be safe, we help others feel safe and that helps everybody. Remember, always take the necessary safety precautions in all you do, as prescribed by your parents, caregivers, doctors, medical officials, and while at school, your teachers too. And please always do your part to stay safe. Thank you for listening. If you liked this week's video, please smash that like button. Share this video with your friends, subscribe, and comment below what you think about my video this week and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you.